Okay, as uh, mentioned, getting into firewalls leads us into a number of other topics, which uh, we're probably going to start to get into in, in this one. I've only got a few uh, more points to make um, about firewalls, and uh, mostly that's sort of minor details. Um, the uh, But yes, the, the firewall concept um, leads us into things like intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems, and uh, we will get there. Um, but just to, to finish up, and again, it's, it's in the uh, sort of less conceptual and more detailed side here, just a, a few cleanup issues, and that is with regard to um, uh, well, I mean, yeah, I gotta back up a little bit here. Um, as I said, there's an awful lot of fighting goes on about firewalls and, and uh, endless debates one way or another, one of which is the debates about what layer, which of the OSI rep model layers do firewalls operate on? And... Um, well, I mean, you know, it's, uh, packet filtering, um, you know, is, is that right down at the data link layer? You know, it's, it's certainly operating at the network layer because, you know, we're talking about uh, source and destination in, in the simple packet filtering and that sort of thing. But, you know, when we get to an application uh, proxy, um, you know, well, there it says, you know, application. We, we can, you know, be operating right at the application layer trying to figure out what this particular packet is going to do to an application. So, um, you know, I, I don't know that there's ever going to be a, an end to this debate. And, and, you know, people are going to make arguments for the sake of making arguments for the most part. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it, it's not something that helps you to, to manage and to um, effectively use a firewall. Um, yes, you, you know, they, the knowledge of the layers, understanding of the layers will uh, help you and, and possibly assist in ensuring that you don't ignore uh, certain types of activities and, and certain types of threats and exploits. But, um, you know, trying to fix a firewall at a specific layer is, is kind of a non-issue as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, um, we talked about network address translation as, as an example of um, uh, circuit proxy firewalls. Um, the uh, RFC uh, 1918 lists um, three segments of, of private addresses. Uh, the uh, 10 range, 10 dot, you know, 0 to 255, 0 to 255, 0 to 255. So anything that starts with a 10 in the in first octet um, is unroutable. Um, it, it, it should not be, you know, there shouldn't be anything, any device on the internet operating in that range. Um, and then there's the 172.16 range and um, 192.168 range. Um, and these uh, these provide for uh, ranges of addresses that you can use privately. Um, you address, you uh, route within your own network, but they have to be changed. Uh, you know, get a network address translation uh, to, you know, like I say, a specific port number on your gateway router, whatever, uh, in order to 
uh, make contact with the internet. And um, that, as I said, you know, this is the way uh, we use it in most home and even small business networks these days. So um, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's one example and that's the, uh, the details of it. Um, but it's not uh, a heavy duty important concept here. Uh, but intrusion detection systems are, uh, you know, that is uh, a related uh, development uh, in terms of firewalls. Um, looking at, in, in the same way, uh, you know, the, the packets, um, packets with regard to state, um, and uh, uh, looking sometimes even at uh, application level details to try and see, you know, what is, is this an intrusion? Is this an attack? Is this uh, trying to, uh, somebody trying to exploit a weakness? Um, is, is somebody uh, trying to do something untoward to us and our systems? And there's, well, we, we, you know, I've given the, the breakdown, the uh, uh, packet filtering, stateful inspection, uh, and the proxies, both circuit and application. Um, in terms of the intrusion detection systems, uh, while that technology is being used, um, the the division in IDS systems is network-based and host-based. And when we say network-based, I mean, you know, obviously this is a network. We're, we're talking about a network um, and network intrusions and that sort of thing. So what do you mean network-based? Well, it's the division between host-based and network-based is where do you put the sensors? Remember alarm systems? You know, we got a sensor, we got command and control component, uh, and we've got the the actuator. So, where are the sensors in uh, the intrusion detection systems? And how, uh, uh, you know, that determines the uh, information, the type of information that we are going to get, and therefore the types of threats that we can uh, detect. So, um, we've got, um, you know, if we've got sensors on the network, uh, we get all the traffic. But we don't necessarily know what it means. When we've got host-based, when you know, the, the sensor is inside the device, then um, we, we cannot necessarily see all of the traffic. But we do have a better idea as to what the individual packet is, is going to try and do, or even a combination of packets. So, 